Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick coffee of the month video for January 2021 the first um, one of the month and quite late in fact so let's get on uh, I don't think I have got these in any sort of order so it may be a bit of a muddle this month um, let's go with the Starbucks house blend this was a no-nonsense Starbucks coffee that's quite versatile depending on strength made or brewing method used and good for milk based drinks this one and that got a score of 3.25 out of 5 the next coffee is the Ali Ethiopian Pods and quite strong and distinct but not altogether in a good way a bit stale and low quality these and they got a quite low score of 2 out of 5 the next coffee another Aldi coffee and this is their Italian style coffee beans and okay for the price uh, but a bit flat tasting and weak in body a good coffee to have on standby, on standby for those emergency situations as it's really cheap this one around the £2 mark and that got a score of 2.5 5 out of 5 the next coffee was the M&S um, coffee pods the Italian ones and thanks to Dave uh, viewer Dave for sending these in to me to review and decent quality but a bit bland and generic and that got a score of 3 out of 5 the next coffee probably my Final pack coffee, I think. I think I'm going to be looking around for a new subscription as packed with sort of repeating coffees that they were going to send to me, and I kept having to go on the website to check. So I think I will look around for a new subscription service pretty soon. And yet, yeah, the packed Asso Asso Mu Prisma, a smooth, pleasant to drink. Moorish coffee this one, good quality as usual from Pact and that scored 4 out of 5. And the next coffee, another Aldi coffee, a lot of Aldi coffees this month. And this one is the Aldi Costa Rican um, Nespresso Pods, floral and acidic, it's not bland but um, it's a bit weak I would say this one and that got a score of 2.5 out of 5 the next one is the really strange and unusual Starbucks premium instant um, coffee sticks and uh, this one a really strange sort of Cornish ice cream and um, light taste um, to this one and smell as well uh, when you open the pack um, it's got particles in it that refuse to dissolve unless um, you have a sort of industrial paint whisk handy to give it a stir. Really unpleasant mouthfeel to, to these as well. And I'm surprised they give it a score of 2.25 out of 5. Looking back, it should have been lower. And I was just drinking one of them. I found uh, one that random pack in the... Um, covered and I thought you know what I'll give it another try but I could only drink uh, a couple of mouthfuls and they had to throw it away so I really wouldn't recommend these Starbucks um, cappuccino premium instance not very nice at all but my coffee of the month it's Jericho coffee traders Mawami Burundi coffee beans and a big thank you to viewer Brian for sending this coffee for review a very nice and, and interesting coffee that's good quality and full of flavour. It's smooth but complex at the same time and it scored 4.25 out of 5. Um, yeah, just beating the pack coffee this month. But a really nice coffee there from um, Jericho Coffee Traders. 
and I'm drinking the decaf at the moment which um, the review will be coming soon and I'm really impressed with that one as well so um, check out Jericho Coffee Traders I'll put the link in the description below to their website so I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried any of these coffees let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel that was my quick coffee of the month video for january 2021 thanks for watching bye for now